Hey there, folks, and welcome back to Space Engineers Season 2. I have been bombarded with comments to continue the build on my massive capital ship. So we're going to do that this episode. Let me first park my solar ship uh, facing the sun with the solar panel facing the sun. There we go. That should be giving us almost maximum power would be my get. Best. Yeah, there we go. Maximum power from that solar panel because it's facing the sun at an optimal angle right now. Well, I don't know if that's the sun. It could be some other star. Anyhow, so what are we going to actually do this episode? Um, hmm. That is a good question. I think the main thing that we're going to try to do is we're going to try to finish up this little section. We're going to actually use our welding ship, finish this up, and then we're going to try to furnish it a little bit. However, for that, we're going to need some parts, so back to the trusty old ripsaw to go grinding this massive ship away. Also, where did our welding ship go? That's a good question. I can't remember where I left that. Probably over here somewhere, maybe? Maybe? Hmm? I honestly can't tell you. Well, it's not by the mining carriage, not by that. Maybe it's by the Titan. Yeah, I think it's by the Titan. Alright. Yeah, that's because I tried to... <laughs> do something with the Titan last episode, and it ended up quite poorly. But I promise this episode won't end up like that. And I just realized I might need to modify the connector on the welding ship just a little eeny teeny tiny bit so we can connect to the ripsaw. Let me just see here. Yes, I will need to extend this down a little bit so I can actually connect to the ripsaw. And the way that we're going to do that is we are going to put a piston on it. I'm gonna make it extendable. Oh no! Come back here! Well, at least it stopped moving. Um, um... There's stuff everywhere. Oh my god, what did I do? I didn't realize I kept stuff in there. Oh no, oh no, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Oh, this is not going well so far. Alright, uh, drop, drop, drop off all my stuff. Alright, let's grab all this stuff before it floats away. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. Now, where did the other parts go? Okay, they're standing still, for the most part. There we go. Uh, grab that. Grab this. Oh crap, inventory's full. Um, I may have made a very big mistake. <laughs> okay. That one's still... This one is moving. Oh, oh. Where did it go? Did I pick it up? Must have picked it up. Yeah, we picked it up. All right. Whew. All right. Whew. That was uh, a little bit more intense than I like sometimes, but... All right. Yeah, we did a little bit of damage here. Somebody mentioned that the only way to really fix this is to put the rotor on the other side, and I agree that will actually help us immensely because it will actually be rotating the correct ways, but we'll be fixing that at a later date. Make sure there's nothing else floating off. Okay, good. Now we need to... See, here we lost a... Wow, I... How on earth did we lose two connectors from that? I was just grinding away a... Or two conveyors from that. We were just grinding away a connector. Anyhow, never, nothing ever goes according to plan, so. Alright, we need some small steel tubes and motors, and then we should be good. Alright, let's go grab that. So, we need 50 of these. And four of these. finish these then we're going to put a piston on it and then we're going to put the final block did I lose a nuclear reactor too I think I lost a nuclear reactor I thought we had two on this oh well let's get a piston if we can fit a piston on a small ship do they f oh. put that in our hot bar 
Where, oh, where did you go? Piston, piston, piston. There you go, you little bugger. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this isn't how I imagined it. So. Let's. Hmm. Need light armor block. Or I need some steel plates for this. Oh, I need one more conveyor, actually. Need some more interior. I need all the things right now. I need some interior plate. We'll do 40 of those. We'll drop off a bunch of these because we don't need them. 70. No, we need to drop off more than 70. We'll do drop off 800 of those. We'll bring a whole bunch of these. 40. Meh. 80. We need some of these. 50. We need some of these. And we need some of these. Large steel tubes, might as well. There we go. I guess the piston won't actually work, so what we're going to have to do is we're just going to have to... It's going to be a little odd looking ship, but... This will have to... Nope. Okay. Curved conveyor it is. There we go. And we're going to bring this down one block. Need some more motors, of course. And then we need the connector again. Alright. It's an odd looking ship, but it will work. So we need a display, six computers, and some tube. So, one of you guys. Six computers. Bring ten, and some tube. Should be more than enough. And done. Alright, now let's go back to the ripsaw. Let's yoink all of the pieces off. In fact, we can actually do this nice and quick by going on to our space tug. And we'll just go over there nice and quick. Oh, oh, close. There we go. And we're locked. And we're off. Okay, so... In the ship itself, we only have the bridge made right now. And some people suggested that we, you know, we make some escape pods and whatnot actually in the bridge itself and that's not a bad idea I don't know if we're actually going to be able to complete that this episode maybe we'll leave some spots for it but I think that might be left for another episode to actually build the escape pods themselves alright so that's that that's that and there's what we're looking for actually we're looking for the rip saw which is up here there we go and 90 meters, 80 meters, close enough. Let's go to the control panel, go to the merge block. In fact, let's do this. We'll do the block. We'll call it merge. And we'll toggle it off. There we go. That should make things a little bit quicker because it'll show up at the top of our menu now. Now we're, we're there we go. Oop, can't see anything in that view. Now, hopefully this connector will actually connect. That's kind of an issue I'm thinking that there might be because the connector's not actually out far enough. Oh, 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 we... There we go. And it works. So. 
let's throw everything just throw everything into the medium cargo container. So cargo. Large cargo container, what we'll need is plenty of steel plates. Hmm. Should be able to just, you know, drop it in. Oh dear. I think I may have messed this up. Yep. This well this side here should have the large blocks on it. Hmm. You should be able to go from there, from there, from there, directly in. Unless that that side right there can't hmm. Well, there's one way to fix that. Fit a conveyor in here. Make sure that Yep, there we go. We'll make it work one way or the other. Don't you worry about that. Still need some motors though. And some small steel tube. And motors. Alright, now we should be able to just drag and drop. Make things a little bit easier. Eh? No? No? Well, way to make life hard, game. <laughs> okay. I guess we're doing it the old-fashioned way. And the main thing that we need right now are just steel plates. And I'm actually going to do this off-screen so you don't have to watch it. So, see you back when our ship is all filled up with all the goodies that we need. Alright, well, the cargo container on this ship is as full as it's ever going to get. So, we're going to actually start welding right away. And, because this is pretty going to be pretty monotonous, just welding all this stuff over and over and over, I'm going to let you guys enjoy some wonderful music while we do this. So, enjoy the music, and see you guys when we're done.
right, and we're back. We pretty much used up all of our steel plate, which is like, I don't know, we had like 30 or 60,000 steel plates. And we didn't even finish the outside. So, well, let's take a look and see how it is on the inside so far. Eh, there's a lot to finish, but we do have the outside skeleton mostly made. Also, we need a whole bunch more girders and bulletproof glass, so... That is something I'm gonna have to make in our assemblers, which we should probably do right now so we don't forget. But right now, this is what it's looking like so far. We have pretty much the outside shell done. We still have to complete these floors, which are also heavy armor blocks. And a couple interior walls as well. And, um... Let's keep on going down. Here we are. This, this section's actually pretty well done if you don't, you know, look that way. <laughs> and here we're going to have some doors. We're also going to separate these rooms off. Probably, actually, what we can do is... There we go, and... There we go. So we'll have two part or one partition that goes this way, that way, one partition that goes that way, and one partition that goes straight forward to the back of the ship, and each of these will be separate modules off to the side that will go off to nacelles, and then the, sep the center one is going to be the, I think we're going to have our hangar bay here, and then we're going to have the engineering section back, even further back. So, alright, now we were saying something about putting possibly an escape pod on here somewhere. And for that, I was thinking we were going to use merge blocks with a small ship. And I'm guessing the best area to do that would probably be down here somewhere. So it won't actually be in our bridge, but it will be very, very close to it. So that would be somewhere in here. Maybe we'll have one escape pod here, one escape pod there. And they will be attached to be a merge block, not landing gear, just merge blocks. And I don't know, it's taking shape. But speaking of things that we need to do in... Eh, <laughs> it's going to take a long time. Let's go make ourselves a whole bunch of glass and girders. Because glass and girders are things that we don't usually find when we grind and salvage ships. So that's something we're going to have to make ourselves. So let's go in here. Production. Large blocks. And we're just going to make a whole bunch of these guys. Don't need any more power cells. Go into the inventory, we'll grab those. And we'll put them in the inventory over here. Do we have any glass? We actually do have some glass. So let's see if we can make a little bit more while we're here. Because I would like to see the, at least the glass canopy be finished by the end of this episode. Or at least most of the glass canopy. So let's go get started on this. All right. Make sure all these things are facing the right way. Because I think I may have placed some of these wrong. I guess we'll find out. All right. Well, we might actually be able to finish the canopy this episode without a problem. I thought that we might have to be going back to the assembler for more, but we might actually be able to get this. Right, we're almost done with the top, then we just need to do the side. I think there's only one side left to do, too, so that's pretty awesome. Jetpack on, finish this side, and we'll be done with the canopy. Oh, we need more bulletproof glass. We're almost done. Let's get all the girders in here that we can. Make sure we don't need any more. Okay, so we just need more bulletproof glass. We can stop the girders. Ooh, that is going to be awesome. Look at that canopy. Yes! So much wind. Alright. And now, let us go back. Do, 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 do. Looks like our health is a little bit low from thrust damage we took, and from flying into brick walls. Well, not brick walls, but steel walls. Same thing. Whoops. That's not going to heal us. We need to go actually to the medical bay on our station over here. 
Alright, and we're full on health, so that's much better. Now let's see, do we have any more bulletproof glass? No, they're still making girders. Let's turn off the girders. Production, stop the girders. There we go, that's what we want to make. Doesn't hurt to have girders, but we don't need it at the moment. We'll throw all the rest of this in here. And I'm thinking maybe one of these days we're actually going to put a conveyor and a tube up there to the top so we can just, you know, snag things from the cargo containers without actually having to go down here. That would make things quite a bit easier. Alright. Let's take the rest of this. Put it in here. Make sure we don't have any glass in any of the other cargo containers here. Nope. Alrighty then. I think we'll have to do one more trip and then we should be done. Next episode we're definitely going to have to grind some of that away so we can get more parts for the massive ship that we're making. Alright, let's finish the canopy. Make sure the side is finished on this. Yes, the side is finished here. All right. Can we finish this one? Yes, we can finish this one as well. How about this one? Not quite. We need two more. And those are on the wrong way. Well, I'll fix those later, but... Ooh, that is going to be an awesome looking ship. Well, at least the front end. Or the canopy. <laughs> I don't know how the rest of the ship is going to look. We're probably going to do tweaks here and there. Because the design isn't quite finalized yet. Alright. There we go. That should be more than enough. And let's go to production. We can <laughs> actually cancel some of the gir- er, well. There we go. That should be fine. We'll see how much it can make. It'll probably run out of material long before it actually finishes making all of that, but it doesn't hurt. We're going to be using it in other areas in the ship and in other builds in general, because you guys are going to keep on coming up with builds, and I will keep on making them for you. All right, let me make sure this one's finished. Good. That one's not right either. Oh, we actually need girders. I completely forgot about that one. But we do have girders. Ooh, where did we have girders? Probably in here. Nope, just small steel tubes. Okay. One more trip. I promise it'll be the last uh, trip we're making to the home base this episode. Ooh, overshot it. Run on down. Yeah, here we go. Girders. Let's take the easy exit out of here. One thing I wish is that uh, some of the ships that spawn in, I wish they had glass on them. Because most of the ships that spawn in are actually pretty dull looking. I mean, they're, the designs are cool, they're very functional, but they don't have any glass on them. Something that I noticed. Alright, so we have three more glass plates that we'll need to change, but we'll change those in a bit. Let's actually go inside and see how it actually looks. We'll go up the staircase this time. Ooh, now that is pretty good visibility if you consider that you'll actually be able to see out of those. I don't think I have anything in my inventory that can finish those. Nope. Well... We accomplished quite a bit this episode. The ship is in much better shape. If you have any suggestions for what we should do next episode, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. As always, thank you folks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.